Number 26, a professional application. Blood is accelerated from rest to 30 centimeters per second in a distance of 1.8 centimeters by the left ventricle of the heart. Make a sketch. All right, so here's the beautiful heart and blood will be accelerated right from rest. So the point here, we'll consider the initial point and it says that it's at rest. So the initial velocity here would be uh, zero centimeters per second. And it says that it moves a distance, right, of 1.8 centimeters. So this distance here will be 1.80 centimeters. That's the distance or the displacement. And mm, what else? And it also tells us that the final velocity of the object here is going to be 30 um, centimeters, 30.0 centimeters per second. I know it's a velocity because the units of the measurement are displacement per time. So that's why I know that that's a velocity, even though it didn't state that explicitly. Okay, so here's a sketch. Now it says list the knowns. I just did. Let us see. How long does the acceleration take? So it sounds like we are um, trying to calculate time, right? Okay. So let's take a look here. So let's write down. So I'm looking for time. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to see, do I know a relationship between these, um, uh, between these four variables, initial velocity, final velocity, displacement, and time in one of my equations of kinematics in the upper right-hand corner? So take a look through them. Mm, right, have you found one? Well, it sounds like we might be able to use one of the formulas, right? How about using the last one? So why don't we take a look? So let's rewrite it, right? We have change in displacement is equal to one half of the initial velocity plus the final velocity times time. Okay, great. So let's see what we got. So the uh, displacement was 1.80, that was centimeters, okay? Uh, multiply by one half times the initial velocity, which was zero, plus 30.0, and then the time is what we're looking for. So this comes out to 1.80 is equal to, um, so half of the 30 is gonna be 15, right? So 15.0 times time. Now just divide out the 15.0 on both sides, divide by the 15.0. And now time works out to be, let's see. Just take it out and plug it into the calculator. So 1.8 divided by 15. And that was 15.0. Okay, and it comes out to the time value is 0 0.12. And that's in seconds. I know that because the seconds value um, was given to me in the velocity, okay? So that's gonna be the time it takes for blood uh, to be accelerated from zero centimeters per second to 30 centimeters per second. Okay, so now uh, we, we found out how long the acceleration takes. Okay, wonderful. Now, so that's letter C, and then let's take a look at letter D. So now it says, is the answer reasonable when compared to the time for a heartbeat? Okay, so um, let's just take a, what would you say the average heartbeat is of a person? Right? Maybe 60, 70, 80, somewhere around there. Okay, I know it depends on a bunch of things. But let's just say the average heart rate, average heart rate is gonna be 60 beats, 60 beats per one minute. Okay, now if that's the rate uh, of 60 beats per minute, how many beats would that be per second? Well, there's 60 seconds, right, in a minute. So therefore, this should be, Oops, this should be one beat per one second. Okay, great. So every time your heart beats, the cycle, I should say the, the cycle of the heartbeat, takes about a full second, right? But if you think about the actual beating action, right? The actual uh, systole, right? The part that actually ejects the blood from the heart, it would be less than one second, right? Um, because remember, heart um, rhythms involve systole and diastole. 
both contraction and relaxation. So the systolic part is a fraction of a second. So let's now compare. So the time value we just calculated was about a tenth of a second. So can the heart do that? Can the heart, in a beat, speed up the blood from zero centimeters per second to 30 centimeters per second in a tenth of a second? Well, yeah, I mean, it kind of sounds reasonable, right? Because the actual lub dub, right, specifically the, the lub part, um, will take a fraction of a second. So I would say that the answer to this would be yes. The answer does sound reasonable. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped, and remember to subscribe. I'll see you next time.